Hey everyone, Elizabeth Scala here and welcome to my bathroom. So recovering from elbow surgery, you're going to find you're going to have to do a lot of things differently. And it goes between like taking a shower, you're in the beginning having an arm wrapped because you can't have it get wet and how long and slow that takes. Uh, I noticed going to occupational therapy once my arm was out of that wrap and I was going to therapy three times a week, it took me double in the bathroom, double the time. I'm usually about a 20 minute shower or tea um, hair person. I don't wear makeup. Uh, so it usually was a 20 minute get ready and with my arm and the pain and the limited range of motion, I was looking at 40 minutes get ready. So first off, add time to your morning or evening routine. It's gonna take you a longer time to get ready. And things like, and I'm not gonna um, show you <laughs> putting on deodorant, but things like even putting on deodorant. So this is my good hand, you know, had my right arm was fine, but my left arm, now I can reach, but even before I was unable, so it was kind of like a move your body towards it type thing. So things take longer and are more difficult to do. But what I wanna to talk to you about specifically is finding ways to assist yourself. So one day I was at occupational therapy and there was not a lot of patients there. It was myself, maybe one other woman, and then a new patient, and the patient was actually preparing for surgery. I'm not gonna go into a lot of details, so don't worry, I'm not gonna break confidentiality. But this particular woman was getting ready for surgery and doing some therapy prior to surgery so that she could um, be ready. That being said, she also was sharing, and my occupational therapy office was very family style. We all were together in a room facing each other, kind of circular, uh, and that was the way my occupational therapist intentionally set it up. But this woman was sharing that she lives alone, she has limited use um, of some of her body mechanics being a kind of older woman and now the fear of surgery and how is she going to recover at home in her own apartment, you know, with very limited help. She had not a lot of family around and stuff like that. So she actually was like, ah, how am I going to floss? And she had a little meltdown and I had so much compassion and empathy for her when she was becoming hysterical because I myself became hysterical a lot when things um, would come up and shock me. Like you always used to put deodorant on by yourself. Now, how are you gonna do it? You know, and I would become hysterical. So this woman is like, how am I gonna floss? Oh my gosh, I'm, you know, and I agree to this day, I still can't um, floss like that. So this is not an ad for floss. This is not an ad for a particular brand or company. But I spoke up with the woman and I told her there's these little handhelds and you can use them with one hand and you can floss with one hand. So my point to you is um, things are going to take longer than you anticipate. Please be careful when you're in the bathroom around slippery um, surfaces. You know, you're a fall risk sort of with this elbow and find tools. Can you find tools? Can you find things that will make your life easier, will make you be able to do what you were used to doing before? So I said to the woman, I said, I have been using these one hand, handheld um, flossers for months now. I never knew about them prior to my surgery, and now I'm using them all the time. So I offered that to this patient, and she thanked me and said she would look into it. But my point here for you is um, look for tools that will make your life easier. Look for, like I said, in floss world, one-handed flossers so you can floss, um, but even up in the kitchen or um, in your bedroom. You know, if it's hard for you to jump up into bed because your bed is very high and you only have one um, really arm to like push off, find a step stool. So don't struggle. Don't do things alone. Uh, don't go it alone. Find tools that can help make your life easier. And if you have questions about that or need ideas for other tools to make daily activities of living easier, leave a comment below and let me know. All right, we will see you next time.